You'll need something deadly. What is it now, Santos? You need some caviar to go with that champagne? <laughs> I have caviar coming out of my ears. Nobody wants that shit anymore. What good are fish eggs when a man's ribs are showing like a half-starved dog? Booze, cigarettes, morphine. That's where the money is. Thank the saints you're here to profit from the misery of others. Yes, I agree. We can't all live like peasants. Just because there is a war on, no? Take my good friend General Lutz, for example. He wouldn't be caught dead driving around Paris in some peasant's car. Last week I offered to sell him an Italian limousine. And do you know what he said? I don't know. Bugger off? <laughs> that's right. He said he had already bought a limo from one of my competitors. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Truly. But not as sad as the look on General Lutz's face when he finds out that his prized car has been stolen! <laughs> ah, stolen by a dastardly Irishman, I'll wager. Exactly! And won't the General be delighted when you sell him his own car back at twice the original price? You have a devious mind, Irishman. It is almost as if you have done this before. Uh-huh. So what's in it for me? You are a man who likes cars, no? Well, you could say I'm in the used car business. You do this for me, and your money will be good at any of my special garages throughout the city. Okay, then. That's a deal. Must be around here somewhere. There's the car. Oh, she's a rare beauty. Let's see if I can get her back to Santos without ruining those good looks.
I hear General Lutz is in the market for a new set of wheels. <laughs> you have done this before, haven't you, Irishman? Me? Stealing cars? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I see. Well, just in case you ever need a place to store a car, stop by one of my garages. My customer service professionals can provide you with all kinds of quality services. Oh, yeah. Like what? Body repairs, custom upgrades, vehicle storage, you name it. We will be happy to serve all of your automotive needs. For the right price, of course. Oh, that's grand. I'll see you around. Tell me, Sean, how did you like your first taste of revenge? I may give up whiskey. <laughs> Probably not. How would you like to meet some new drinking buddies? Who do you have in mind? The Germans are holding several POWs not far from here. Veteran soldiers of the Foreign Legion. Very dangerous man. The leader is a man named Crochet. If we can win his loyalty, the others will follow. And you want me to bust these blokes out so you can put them on the payroll? Will that be a problem? I'm used to breaking out of jails. Breaking in will be a piece of piss. would be best.
Best stay inconspicuous. Cease. A breakout. Move your arse. I'm not going anywhere without my men. Go get your arses in gear. Move out. We will meet again, Irishman. Gives those bastards hell. Let's get the hell out we of here. We will meet again, Irishman. We will meet again, Irishman. Retreat!
I'll go tell Luke the job's done. That was well done, my friend. The resistance grows stronger each day. Wherever there is a will to fight, our Patriot soldiers will stand ready to strike back against the Nazis. Vive la France! That's all fine and dandy, but we'll need more than slogans when the bullets start flying. We have men ready to fight at your command. From now on, when you give the word, they will come. You did a fine job nursing Luke back to health. He owes you. No. The people of this city owe Luke a debt. You seem rather taken with him. He is an extraordinary man. People are whispering his name all over Paris. They are calling him the hero of La Villette. <laughs> Luke's the hero, is that it? I suppose I'm just his chauffeur. Jealous? Bollocks. I promised Luke I'd deliver a package for him. I thought you might like to be my chauffeur for the day. Ooh. You want to ride with me? Be glad to. Bon. Meet me out front when you are ready to go. So where is this package? I have to pick it up. So we'll need a car. Thanks for the ride. Luke thanks you too. Who is Luke, anyway? He's supposed to be somebody famous? Before the war, Luke was one of the most popular authors in France. His family was as rich as royalty. It's funny. He doesn't strike me as the past type. The Nazis declared his writing subversive. They confiscated his property and burned his books. Luke was left with nothing. Is that why he hates him? Luke is not driven by hate. He fights because he loves this country. Take long. All set? Oui. Merci. Now, we just need to make the delivery. So why did you wait so long to give us a shout? I mean, I'm glad you did. It's just... Well, it's been ages since we hung about like this. I have not been out much since... what happened to Jules. Oh, well... I can understand that. Oh! Well, it does not seem to have slowed you down much. The girls at the bed tell me you love to drink them all under the bed. Uh, I think you mean under the table. Do I? Well... I'm so glad you sobered up in time to help me with my little errand today. I promise you will not regret it. There it is. Let me out here. You sure this is it? This place is crawling with crowds. This will only take a moment. Guten Tag, Fräulein. What is that you have there? Oh, it is just some cheese and wine for Colonel Straub. Straub is the lucky one, yeah? Go right in. You are too kind. What's 
going on? Oh, holy shit! Tell the merde. They're coming! Why didn't you tell me you were planning to set off a fucking bomb? Are you out of your bloody mind? I knew you would try to stop me! You're damn right I put a stop to it! This isn't your fight! You are wrong! They made it my fight when they murdered my brother! I volunteered for this! Looks like you volunteered the both of us! Later. First, I'll have a word with Luke. Mon Dieu, this place smells like old sausage. What the hell's the matter with you? Now you're using girls to do your dirty work. I haven't used anyone. Those who serve our cause do so because they are patriots. I can't stand that word. I've heard it all my life from men with blood on their hands. This is not a cricket match. We don't wear uniforms and we don't play by the rules. Every one of us must be ready to do whatever is necessary. I already lost her brother. I'll be damned if I'm gonna lose Veronique as well. She can have no part in this. You once said that Jules was his own man. Well, I am my own woman. Do not presume to tell me what to do. Either of you. Count your enemies, Luke. If anything happens to her, you'll have made one too many. I've seen you before, haven't I? The night we broke those legionnaires out of the German lockup? Yes, I was there. I was a captain in the legion. Now the men call me Le Crochet. The hook. You can see why. The German jailer who took my hand fed it to his favorite dog. You're still alive. And free. Yes. Thanks to you. But some of my men were not so lucky. This German. 
He has a lot to answer for. I know what you mean. The German is here in Paris. I'm told he has a taste for the sort of flesh one finds in the red light district. He tours the alleyways at night with his bodyguards, feeding his deviant appetites. The working girls are terrified of him. We can't abide that sort of perversion in our lovely city now, can we? I'll take care of it. I want him to know why he is dying. Make sure he hears my name before he breathes his last. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I know this neighborhood like the back of me hand. Huh? 